Um, yes. You know, one thing that um, we try to do here all the time, I will. <clears throat> I want to ask. I want to ask you this, if you're willing to. Um, about. I'm sorry, God. I forgot today. We always begin with prayer, and then we end up with prayer because, um, you know, we do believe that this fight that we are going through, these things that we are going through, sometimes they're not just physically, but they're also spiritual. And one thing personally that I do believe, I always do believe to put God in the center, regardless of um, the religions that people we have that are following us. Um, we, we are trying to, it's, 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 it's one of the things that has been a huge tension, right, in some countries of, in Africa, right? And you guys in Ethiopia, you managed to live together with different religion. This is one um, brighter side that I see that a lot of African countries are suffering. Um, but w what I'm trying to say is with all this conversation we had, all these questions <coughs> that we had, um, you know, I would like to raise um, uh, a word of prayer as we finish this, um, if you are open to that. I am. Um, to, to pray for Ethiopia, uh, to pray for everything that we've spoken about here. We, you, you, you share about your wish for the government, for the people, all these things. Um, I know that when we put God at the center, these things are possible. We need determination. We need all those things. But also we need a supernatural uh, power that will help us to reconcile with one another, to be able to reach the point to, to forgive one another and also to heal the wounds that we have for so long and that we are holding on to. Um, so I'm really glad that you're open to do that. Yes, I am. Thank you. This is beautiful. Um, you want to do it or you want me to do it or you want us to do it? If you want, I can do it. It's up to you. If you want to do it and if you want me, I can do Please. it. Please, Mr. Bang, you go ahead. The podium <laughs> is yours. <laughs> okay, yeah. So for sure, as I, you know, and I'm a Christian, you know, and um, yes. I believe, you know, in God. There's a creator. There's a creator that created this universe, that created mm -hmm. us for purpose. And as you say that, you know, I really love when you say that, you know, put it in the centers. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> and what we do, there's many things that which is beyond ourselves. Mm -hmm. uh, but even with us, mm -hmm. why are we created? It? Why are we created at such a time as this? I could have been created 2,000 years ago or 2,000 years from now. That's, you know, this is only a creator. So I do believe, you know, in the God <clears throat> who created us and has a power and definitely that, you know, uh, reaching out and talking uh, praying to God is a good thing. So if you want me to say a few words and praying for you know for this country and for the whole of us, I can do it. Yes. You ready? Let's take your time. Yes, I'm ready. <laughs> okay. For the, everybody that who are uh, you know listening, even to those people who are not uh, follower of Jesus Christ or Christians, please you know pray to whatever that uh, God that you believe in. There's only one Creator, not many. Uh, they, sometimes the human being they we created that we have, you know, different creators, but only one creator that created all of us. Mm -hmm. So I do want to say that you know, dear Father, thank you so much for giving us this opportunity, and especially for these young brothers to do this, and all of you guys who are here listening. We live in walls of so many plows, so many mistakes, so many followers, so many failures. Because human beings are not perfect. We are not perfect. There's evil within us. And trying to use every mean to control, to dominate, to do horrible things to each other. God created all of us equals. God doesn't take favors. God created a human first. We get the tribe after we come to these worlds of greed. So a world of money, world of power, world of backwardness. But again, God has never give up on us. So to fellow Ethiopian brothers and sisters, we are at a crossroad. 
We are at a crossroads of our country. Not because of the work of God that didn't do anything wrong with us. It is not God. It is us, our leaders, our peoples who have misguided us, lied to us, deceived us, pushing us to get to this. It is now us who can fix it. We create the mess. We can clean it. But we need God to be on our side. Dear fathers, we have done a horrible thing to each other. We have done it. But we can change it. Just help us to be a better people. Make us forgive. Make, make us think. Make us see the humanity of our neighbors. Make us see what we didn't see. We have done so many horrible things. But through your power, through of genuine and truth, we can change this. Ethiopia need healing. And Ethiopian themselves can do it, but you can guide them. The continent of Africa need healing. The humanity need healing. The humanity need each other today than ever before. The intelligence and the knowledge that we use, if we don't use it, the humanity can destroy themselves. Then my create a nuclear weapon that can wipe up the cities. The humanity, the biggest threat to humanity today is the short sighted humanity. We are coming to you and help us and empower us guided us, show us the right way. We will do our whatever we can, but we want you to guide us, to go to the right direction. Not the selfishness way, not the greed way, not ego ways, not my way, but your way. We ask you this. And for all those who are suffering in these countries, in this continent, in these worlds, there's a better way mm -hmm. that there can be less suffering. There's a way to do it. And that way has never been done before, but it can be done. Mm -hmm. These worlds are full of so evil things, so horrible things, so many misguided things, so many short-sighted leaders reach out in the heart and the mind of those people. Help bring out some younger vibrant, God-fearing, not self-love, humanity-love leaders from every corner of these worlds and make them work together. And then let them do the volunteers. I want to hand it to these dear fathers. You did all this universe work for free. Most of us may not know that. You create an oxygen that we breathe every day free of charge and when some of us get sick with corona you go out with bill of two million dollars and artificial oxygen you make us live in a light we don't pay it we drink the water that we don't pay it we leave everything you did in these worlds the rain the soil that we feed ourselves with all of these things is a volunteer some of us live in this world without no knowing. They are the product, they are the result of voluntarily. Like our mothers who carry us nine months, raise up us until we grow, is a volunteer. God work is a volunteer works. And if we can learn from you and volunteer, this world could be a better place than this. Remind some of those people who are blinded, those short-sighted people who don't know their purpose. Reach out to them, call them, let them know that life is too short. It is only when you are alive that you are a purpose. When you are alive that you can be a useful. The minute you die, you are just a dust. 
like a rocks, senseless, emotionless, nothing. So we just reach out to those who are lost and confused, empower them. Dear Father, thank you for all the work that you have done. I never lost hope in Ethiopia because I know there are good Ethiopian out there. You can bring them up forward to keep Ethiopian the kind of government they deserve, the kind of system they deserve, the kind of society they want to live. I know there's some people there in Africa, in these worlds. Reach out and bring those in the name of your son. Amen. 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 <coughs> um,